Whether you are new to Excel or you have been using Excel for some time, you should know about some important rules before you proceed in learning Excel. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I talk about the Bible of Excel, which stands for Basic Instructions Before Learning Excel. These are three golden rules that any Excel user must know to feel comfortable working with Excel. So let's dive in. Golden rule number one says, the mouse pointer talks to you. I'm going to type my name in any cell. In any worksheet, we have over 17 billion cells. By hovering over any single cell, you can see three different types of mouse pointers. Mouse pointer number one is a thick plus sign which appears only when you hover over the center of the cell. This is called the selection pointer, because when you see the thick plus sign, if you click and drag, you are just making a selection. Mouse pointer number two is a four-headed arrow, which appears only when you hover over any one of the four borders. When you see the four-headed arrow by hovering over the border, that's called the cutting pointer. Because if you click and drag, you are cutting the contents of the cell, moving it from a source to a destination. Mouse pointer number three is a tiny plus sign, which appears only when you hover over the lower right corner, the autofill handle. This tiny plus sign is called the copy handle, because if you click and drag, you are just copying the contents of the cell. That was golden rule number one, the mouse pointer talks to you. Like anything in life, you need to plan. What do you want to do? Would you like to make a selection? Hover over the center of the cell. Would you like to copy? Then hover over the lower right corner. Would you like to cut? Hover over any one of the four borders. And by the way, the mouse pointer talks to you whatever you do in Excel. So if you hover over a column letter, the mouse pointer changes to a black down pointing arrow. If you hover over a row, then the mouse pointer changes to a black right pointing arrow. Always keep an eye on the mouse pointer. Golden rule number two says we have three confusing terms in Excel. Range, list and table. Excel is not a table. Excel is a grid-like structure divided vertically into columns, divided horizontally into rows. The term table has a completely different meaning in Excel. So I would like to differentiate between the three terms. If you click and drag, you are selecting a range. A range is a group of cells. You might have a range of blank cells, or you might have a range of cells having contents, or you might have a range of cells having partial contents. When we use the term range, we are not actually looking at the contents. Unlike the two other terms, list and table. In order to name it a list, we should have four requirements. Only the first one is a mandatory requirement that is having column headers at top. In columns E, F, G, I have a list. In columns J, K, L, I have the same exact data, but in a table. So what is a table in Excel? A table in Excel is defined as being a list plus more functionality. How do I differentiate between a list and a table? There are different ways. The easiest one is to select any cell inside the list. If nothing changes in the ribbon when you select that cell, whether you click inside or you click outside, then you can confidently say it's a list. And because a table is a list with more functionality, then when I click inside a table, an extra tab will appear on the ribbon. And here in the table design tab, this is how Excel offers the extra functionality to you. Instead of clogging the interface with unnecessary commands, Excel offers the functionality to you whenever you select a cell inside the table. If you click outside, then the contextual tab is gone. If you click inside, you will see the contextual tab with the extra functionality added to the ribbon. Learning how to convert your list into a table. 
and how to convert a table back into a list. What is the advantage of converting our data into a table? What are the benefits? What's the extra functionality that we get with a table? This is an extremely important topic that opens the door to a lot more functionality in Excel. I sincerely encourage you to develop your knowledge in this area and you can do that by watching my tutorial Secrets of List and Tables. The link is in the description below the video. I'm still talking about the Bible of Excel, basic instructions before learning Excel. The third golden rule says alignment is functional in Excel. In cell B5, I'll be typing text, I'll be typing my name. And then I hit tab, and in cell C5, I'll be typing any number, 456. And then I hit tab, in cell D5, I want to type a date, Instead of typing, I use the shortcut control semicolon and there I hit tab and in cell E5, I want to type a logical value. A logical value is either true or false. I'll be typing true in lower case and look what happens when I hit enter, it becomes capitalized and centered. And here is the third golden rule of Excel. Text by default is left aligned to the cell. I did not align my name to the left side, it's automatically left aligned. Numbers are automatically right aligned. A date is automatically right aligned and logical values are centered. This is not Word, this is not PowerPoint, where alignment is just cosmetic. In Excel, if you change the alignment of number and date, you might be losing functionality. And you might be wondering, why in the world a date is right aligned like a number? Because in Excel, a date is stored behind the scene as a number. So what is today's date? Today's date is just an incremental number from day number one in Excel, which is the 1st of January, 1900. Since the 1st of January, 1900, every day increments by one. So if you want to see today's number, select the cell, and then go to the drop list on the home tab and ask Excel to strip off the formatting to reveal the number under the hood. When I do that, today, from the point of view of Excel, is 45,370. What's the importance of having a date stored as a number? The importance is we can use a date in performing calculations. I can calculate the value date of an invoice. I can calculate the term for a loan. I can calculate how many days someone lived by subtracting the date of birth, which is an older date, then it's a smaller number, from today's date, which is a later date, then it's a bigger number. Don't be confused by formatting. Formatting doesn't change the number that Excel is viewing under the hood. I talked about the three golden rules of Excel, and I called them collectively the Bible of Excel, basic instructions before learning Excel. Golden rule number one, the mouse pointer talks to you. Golden rule number two, there are three confusing terms in Excel, range, list, and table, and I differentiated between them. Golden rule number three, alignment is functional in Excel. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.